Hi class 7, welcome back to your Vedic Math class. Now I have already uploaded uh, the confusions which you were having. Uh, Sajid and uh, Jishan I think you were having some confusions with some questions. After I saw today that you are having some confusion with the same question. So you can follow that video. I just came today to revise all the pages. Okay, from all the pages, uh, each page I will do just one, two sums just to make the concept clear. Hmm. Page 5, 6, 7, 8, then 10, 11. Till here we have completed. So we will do a few sums from each of the page. And kindly, class 7, each one of you should comment me whether you have understood or not. Ma'am, I have understood. This much I want to hear from each and every one. If you are not able to uh, understand the thing, I will again explain. So that's why I'm giving this revision class for division. Okay. So do write to me each one of you. Okay. Let's start. Uh, first, what we have seen that this term, we are learning uh, divisions of any numbers with the series of nines. So it can be less than, it can be more than, it can be equal to. This three terms only we have. In multiplication also we have learnt, right? So in division also same thing. Today what we have started with? Less number of nines. Suppose I give 48 and divided by 9. So this is less number of 9. Practice goes in this way that we will start from right end. So this and this one one number we have taken. Now when we take one one number here, what we will do? We will put this down like this. Done. Then there is upper line and lower line. After that, we give a balancing pattern. Then this upper line, second number plus the lower li line, first number we will add up. Means 8 plus 4 gives me 12 divided by 9. When the number ends here, immediately we divide by 9. When we divide, what we get? 9 1s are 9. 9 2s are 18. So it will go only one time. So when it goes one time, we write here 1. Then we give the decimal. Now after 9, how many times it is going? 9 10, 11, 12 means 3 we get. Remainder we get as 3. We write here 3. This is not the end. Now we need to do the balancing. So put this 3 as it is and give this decimal. Keep this one this side. Add up and write here 5. Bar is left. So 5.3 bar. Why we add bar? Because 3 is a repeated number. I mean whatever is at the end if it doesn't match, then it is the repeated number. Okay? Clear? Next one. Suppose I get 21 divided by 9 again. So pattern remains same. From this end we start. One one number we take. We put this down. And then 1 plus 2 gives me 3. Again we divide with 9. When we divide with 9, what happens? We need to check number is less or number is more right this is less so in any case i will put the decimal and three will move that side and there is nothing left so i will put this two down and give bar because it is repeated so 2.3 bar done then we come to the next page next page we see same thing so page six i'm not doing now page seven nine zero zero divided by Nine. So again single single number we will take. This will count down. Two lines we have taken. Upper line, lower line. Now nine, uh, 0 plus 9. Then next one 0 plus again 9 only. Hmm? Both gives me 9. Now divided by 9. Done. 1.0. Now how you will do balancing? Put this down. Give this dot. Move this side 0. Right. 1 is still left. Again move this side. 10, this is your answer. No bar because there is no remainder. Done? Then move to the next one. Now suppose we do uh, page number 8. See 4 uh, numbers are there. 6, 3, 4, 2 divided by 9. How we will do? 6, 3, 4, 2. What I said? 6, 3, 4, 2. I have written 6, 4, 3. Wait. 6, 3, 4, 2 divided by 9. Now here also single single number we will take. 6 I have taken. Now 6 plus 3 gives me 9. Okay. 9 I have taken. 9 plus 4 gives me 9. 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 I have taken. 13 plus 2 gives me 15 I have taken. Divided by 9. 9 1s are 9. Then 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 means 6. I will write here 6. Now this will come down. I will give this decimal. This will move here. This one. Again this will move here. So this one. This will move. Then 7. Give the bar. So 704 point or decimal 6 bar because 6 is repeated. Clear. Next. Page number 8. Done. Now 9 you are doing it by yourself. Come to page 10 and 11. From 10 suppose we do. Again I am doing that sum only. Which uh, uh, Afsar you are also having confusion. 4, 9, 6 divided by 9. Uh, sorry 99. What we will do? Now we got 2 numbers. So we will take 2 2 numbers from right end. This one here there is no 2 number. So we will just write take only 1 number. Now 4 will come down. Done. Now 96 plus 4 gives me I think 100. Right. So I will write here 100. So there is no more number. So we will divide with 99. Now it will go only one time. Clear? It will go only one time. So I will write here 1. Then I will give the decimal. Now what is to be seen? Left out my numbers are these two numbers. Okay. I will talk about these two numbers. When I am doing this type of sum, I will just increase to one more number. And I will write here this. Clear? Now balancing. This will come down like this. Give the bar. 1 is going this side. 5. 5.01 bar. Clear? Only keep in mind when 99 is there and the number is increasing more than 99. Then you need to check how many times we can multiply. If it is one time, write one time. Then these two numbers you need to check. If it is two times, you write two times. Then again these two numbers you need to check. Just increase that number to the next number. Clear? One more sum and the last sum. From page number 11. Say 1939 divided by 99. So two, two numbers we will take. Now 19 will come down here. Now 39 plus 19 we will check how much it is coming. So it will be 58. Now 58 divided by 99 because there is no more number, right? So what you will do, you will just give decimal and this will go that side. Because I told you if the number is less than this number, it will just move towards the right end. Done? Now this 19, yes, this 19 will come down, give a bar. 19.58 is your answer. Okay, so in this way you need to do it. When it is 9 single digit, Right side you will take single digit only and you will come to the end. When it is 99 you will take double digits. Done. And when the number is more than 99, the last number is more than 99, never mind. Check how many times we can, uh, it goes with 99, how many times it goes to, if I need the answer. After that just take those two last numbers, increase it to one more number. Simple. And it's done. Okay. So today till this much. Next class I will come with new topic. Bye bye.